All righty. So John McMillan here with Jeff Wheatley of the Jeff Wheatley Group at Keller Williams. How are you doing today, Jeff? Doing great. How are you, John? I'm good. I'm good. So today I just wanted to tell, uh, kind of get your story of, of how you, you know, got the Jeff Wheatley Group going of, you know, why Keller Williams and, and all that. So what got you started in real estate? So, John, um, I was in corporate America, and the day the towers fell, I took a decision that I wanted to have a little bit more control of my life. At that point in time, I was out on the road uh, managing big projects for corporate America, and uh, I got stuck in Amarillo, Texas for a couple of days when the planes weren't flying, and I decided that wasn't the way I wanted to live the rest of my life. So, I initially came home after that, back to Maryland, and first started off in the mortgage business. I had a neighbor who was doing very well in the mortgage business. He introduced me to that. And then a few years into that, I actually sat down at a closing, but I was representing the agent who was down at the beach. And there was such a different connection, John, as not being the mortgage lender, as being helping that first time home buyer through the closing. Uh, that was a Friday afternoon, John, at 3 p.m. The next Monday morning at 9 a.m., I was actually in my real estate school. And huh. my life. That's crazy. So, so, so what were you doing in corporate? Like, was it a sales job that you were, were doing just flying around the country? And so uh, I was managing large projects. So um, mostly in the insurance vertical when okay. nationwide Geico, something like that, when they had a major problem uh, with one of their systems, I would be the guy who came in, fixed that, made sure that we got that project up and running again. And then I would go on and fix another problem. Um, so I was traveling many times I'd be on both coasts uh, during the course of a week and it, the traveling was wearing on me. I really enjoyed the job. It was, it was great and rewarding. Uh, but at the same time, I was leaving my family at home a little bit too much. Right. And you probably had no say in where you were going and for how long and all that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you're on the mortgage side. How long, how long were you in, in mortgages? I was on, the mortgage, I was on the mortgage side for six years. I built a small little mortgage brokerage, um, ended up selling that out and becoming just an individual agent, uh, individual loan officer um, when I was regrowing. And then that was when I sat down. I had, with, when I became an individual loan officer, had some really great products for first time home buyers. That's what led me to that day where I was sitting in the closing table and really understood that connection as, a, as opposed to a more of a quick connection and five minutes taking an application, that deep understanding that I had with them. And that, it really changed my life. I've had such a better life on this side than, than necessarily pushing the papers on the mortgage side. And I respect all these guys and I love what they do, but it's just for me, this is my calling. Got it. So you started as an agent. Where did you start working like after you got your license? So I started at Remax and um, I had some, the same agent that I went to a closing for um, called him and I said, this may be my calling. I'd like to come over to the side of the business. Uh, and he took me under his wing, really showed me the ropes. Um, but I had to do all the lead generation on my own. And I was just telling one of my agents on my team the other day, uh, most people start off on the buyers. I actually started off my first transaction was picking up the phone and calling expired and taking an expired listing. So between being in the business and 30 days later, I actually had a commission in 30 days from picking up the phone with an expired listing. And it's always been part of my repertoire since that point in time. It's not we just, we, part of my business now, but we still do it. Yeah. Were you just uh, kind of just winging it? Um, I was, I, I actually found Mike Ferry very early and nice. I was not in his coaching, but I picked up his scripts and I did everything I could to mimic it. And with that first closing, I went to a Mike Ferry seminar, learned the, the scripts in a little bit more depth and kept, kept digging in. I've been to a number of seminars and, and to this day, I have another number of close friends around the country that will get on and prospect together. So when did you, you know, that was, you were probably pretty successful in corporate America, probably pretty successful building your mortgage business. When did you kind of know that the real estate was kind of going to be your final career? Really, really? It, it took me about a year. Um, I replaced my income in about a year. Um, but it, it really wasn't until 
that I knew that people actually started picking up the phone and calling me. So the, the phone calls went both ways. And that was about a year into it. And at that point in time, I said, wow, if I can get them to call me as well as the outbound calls, this, this is great. And um, at that point in time, I just knew and I, was, I, I felt very blessed and glad yeah. I'm not in America. So, so how did you, how were you able to accomplish that in a year? Uh, it was very much focused. Um, one of the things I took away, I'm not sure where I took away, it was just the power of time blocking. So my mornings have been very regimented ever since I entered the business over 10 years ago. Um, I typically got all my stuff ready to go by 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning, and then it's lead generation time. And okay. so we do the same thing with my team. We bring the team in and we lead, lead generate together. Great. Okay. So when was the switch to uh, Keller Williams? Uh, about, John, I'm having a little difficulty. I guess it was about four years in. Okay. Um, a little rough on those numbers. Um, at Remax, um, I, I learned everything on my own, but I just wanted to bring a family member into the uh, business. My son was 19 years old, wanted to get in the business. And I didn't want to have to do all that training myself. I figured if we had two different sources of training, myself mimicking, leaning into him, but also in the culture of the KW, which is very learning, envir learn learning environment, that would help as well. And it, it absolutely you know, helped him embrace the business as well. And he's gone on, he's moved out of the state right now and is on a top 10 team in uh, Pennsylvania now. Oh, that's cool. So that's, it's exactly why I, I Keller Williams and, and I'm grateful for the help in terms of bringing the entire team up. Yeah. So is, did you have the team at Remax and then everyone switched to Keller Williams or was the team something that you started when you switched over to Keller Williams? The team was started when I started at Keller Williams. Got it. So, okay. Just a little different model for it. Yep. Got it. Okay. So, you know, where do you feel like the future is with the Jeff Wheatley group? So we're going to continue to build around the suburban DC metro area. Um, so Montgomery County is our home base uh, with about a third of our transactions rolling over into Prince George's County. So we want to make sure that we're continuing to dominate Montgomery and part of Prince George's County. And we want to grow, lean into young professionals, bring them up and give them the same opportunity for learning that, that I've had in my own business. Perfect. So, you know, you've been in the real estate industry, like you mentioned, for over 10 years. Um, you know, you've had other experiences, you know, just out in the world. You know, if I'm a new agent or if I'm an agent that's just really struggling to kind of get over the hump, get to that next level, um, you know, what, what advice do you give to those people? Chuck, I, I do a number of coaching own, within my own team and outside and it sounds cliche, but it really comes down to the why. And sometimes we spend a lot of time digging into why. Why are we here? What's getting in the way of us getting to the next level? And once we establish that, we really figure out what's the why and where we're going. The plan after that becomes relatively easy. Does that answer your question? Yes, totally. That's great. So, um, just going to plug what we're kind of doing with you here is, you know, one of the things that, that we've created is this uh, real estate training website where we're going right. to have videos like this. Um, so Jeff's going to be doing some interviews with members on his team and kind of going through their stories uh, as well as uh, he's just going to be shooting educational videos on just different things to, you know, help real estate agents in the community. Um, you know, further their careers. And if you want to just kind of talk a little bit about, you know, some of the, some of the things that you'd like to cover uh, on this video blog, that would be great. Well, so let me first start with one of the whys behind that, John, and then I'll go yeah. into it. Yeah. Little yeah. Little Perfect. So on the why, um, I, I had a long trip. I was in Europe almost a month um, in October of this past year. And it really allowed me to reflect on those people that had impacted my life. Um, from the real estate industry, as well as some mentors that I had before that. But many of them really came from my real estate mentors. And I really wanted a place where I can give back. Um, I've, I've really had a lot of growth from being in this industry. And I really just wanted that opportunity to grow 
to give back. And that was just very clear when I was driving through Germany one day. I just, I, this is what I have to do. Um, what are we going to talk about? Um, we're going to talk about all facets. I mean, I'm getting emails in and having conversations with folks in my office. So one that we cut today was very much a how do we think about marketing as real estate agents? Uh, but it could be something that is tactical as I cut my teeth on expired listings. What's the communication cadence? What's the pattern to those expires? How did I do over 25 expires in one year? What do we need to do to, to get to that level of effort? Um, and then we're going to go through different things on the buy side. So um, we have a lot of folks in our marketplace that are showing way too many homes to the buyers because they're not asking deep enough questions. So we're going to teach them how to be very, much more systematic so that not only does the agent have a better experience by going out two or three times to the right set of houses, it's also a better, better job for the community and, and for that buyer so they're not you know, stuck going into the obligatory 50 houses trying to figure out what the heck they want. So a lot of teaching around that. Cool. All right. Well, that was, this has all been great. Thank you for your time today, Jeff. Okay, John, I appreciate it. Thanks for taking some time out.